Mina, konnichiwa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here. Coming at you with Psalm 19, I found a really good set of verses. Surprise, surprise, finding it in the Psalms, or finding it in the Bible anywhere, period. Not a big surprise there, but this, this particular little section was just like, you know, if someone wants to get closer to God, if someone wants to, you know, just deepen their relationship, know what he thinks on things, this is a really just concise summary of something you can do to get a whole lot closer to God. There are other methods, there are other means, but this right here is just really solid. This is really good. So this is Psalm 19, verses 7 through 11. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. The statutes of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. The fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. The judgments of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. More to be desired are they than gold, yea, than much fine gold. Sweeter also than honey and the honeycomb. Moreover, by them your servant is warned, and in keeping them there is great reward. Knowing what God tells us to do, being in obedience to Him, you want to know who He is, you want to be close to Him, you want to make a lasting impact in this world for the kingdom, boom, right there, know God's law, His testimony, His statutes, His commandments. Let the fear of the Lord be in your heart and mind and follow after his judgments. If you do those things, you're going to be close to him. You're going to be a better person for it. You're going to have a meaningful, impactful life. And there's a really good chance that when you get to heaven, you're going to hear that well done, good and faithful servant. There's, there is more to it than just that. But daggone, that's right, just right there. That is so much of what our relationship with God should be and what it should look like. Knowing his word, knowing what he says to do and what not to do, doing the things he says to do, not doing the things he says not to do. A successful life, a successful Christian life can be summed up almost entirely in those verses right there. So I was like, that that is some good stuff. I want to pass that, that along and kind of like open up the secret. You want to know how to be a successful Christian and close to God? Boom! There it is. So guys, thank you very much if you like this video. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video. If, you, if this video was helpful to you, hit the like button is what was going through my mind. Let me know if this was helpful. Let me know if this ministered to you. Um, if it didn't, I guess hit that dislike button. I love you. And God bless.